One moment. Ba -ba -ba. Gonna wait on Noah. I think I'm good to go. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, we're good. All right, so Noah says we're good. We're good to go. Here's what we're gonna do. I just got a nice little care package in the mail from Tops, uh, in like an appreciation type care package. Um, we got a bunch of top series one packs. Okay. Uh, yeah, carry on. I'm sorry. Sh I, I think I want it, but last comps are, were around what you offered it to me at. So we'll I'll have to talk. So top sent me a really cool, um, care package for everybody who joined. There was a random autograph. I think it was Harrison Bader. I think, I don't know if it was Harrison Bader or not. Like a random autograph of a random dude from St. Louis. I don't think it was Bader. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so we're going to, and I don't know if other breakers are doing this or just like keeping the packs and saying fuck their customers or whatever. I hope they're not. But we have 30 packs of, of cards from, um, from the Rip Party. Uh, what we're going to do is, and they gave us two card stands and there was like this, ra this random, I'm just going to type it in here. I don't know who it is. Autograph baseball card. I'm just going to type it in there. I don't know who it is. I think it's Harrison Bader. It was really random. He's not like a stud. So, well, you might, if you're from St. Louis, you might think he's a stud. But I, I don't think he's great. Um, so we'll put that in there. They gave us 30 packs. We're going to randomize those up. What we did was we took every single buy-in from the RIP party, every buy-in, put them on a list for this giveaway. It looks like out of everybody... 38 people are going to win something. So, Tops gave us um, like a bunch of packs, two card stands, an autographed baseball card, who, which I think is Harrison Bader for us. I think I saw another breaker got a Trout Auto, but we're not that cool. So, we're going to give away those. I do have some other extra goodies as well that I'm going to throw in some, some of your guys' packages for joining in. Um, for joining the rip party so that's gonna look like tops box cutters some stickers uh, some other cool uh, swag from tops that we got pre rip party okay but for right now we've got 38 people that are gonna win something if you bought in more than once you could win more than one thing um, these packs are exclusive to the rip party you can't find them in a card shop you'll probably find them up on eBay a breaker might run a break with them, but we're not going to do that because I don't have time for that shit, and you guys can just keep them and do what you want with them. Um, they're at the shop, so we're just going to put the packs inside your packages as we ship out, all right? Or if we already shipped the package, that the winning package, we'll just toss it into a bag, obviously protect it, but toss it into a, a bubble mailer and just send it out because we might have shipped half of these already. Um, I know my parents sent me a picture. You guys already know they do a lot of my sorting. Let's see if I can find this thing. One second, guys. Okay, we're back. This is what my shop looked like this morning. So that's what my shop looked like this morning when it came to shipping stuff out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bins worth of mail plus a bin down there of boxes. You've got one, two, three, four, five flat rates in the back. You've got a case of cards right here that's going to ship out. Like a, somebody had like nine spots and threw out an unbelievable amount of cards that brown corrugated. So it's eight, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus those, oh, nine in the back on the chair, and then those flat rates, and then there's a case here. So we've been busting our asses. We're trying to get this shipped out along with the 37 hoops breaks, along with some stuff that Buckeye brought up, along with these optic, along with Noah's optic. So I think it's something like 62 breaks that we've sorted and shipped in the past. 11 days so just be a little be patient with us okay be patient and look at these bomb donuts i got today for jess those were great so just be patient all right so let's get it going here's your tops giveaway good luck guys
All right, we're gonna take everybody over here. And you can win more than once. And it looks like 270 names. Two to six is our numbers. We're gonna use five. Okay, I, we still have, uh, don't even worry about it. That hasn't even been sorted yet, Scotty. Scotty, that hasn't even been sorted yet, bro. You're good. Five's our number. One. Two. Three. Four. And top 38 are winners. So I'm going to copy the whole list over. You don't win in order. What I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize the prizes as well. So it's whatever you land next to. All right. So your winners are, we'll do a quick one. Nice, dude. Yeah, my dad throws those in, playa. All right. So it looks like Chris Neal, Savinsky, Tank Cab, Wayne, Cole, Tim, Nick, Mitchell, Long, Miles, Zach, Rob, Danilo, Sean, is my L, Stubag, Schiltbaum, Sean Fagardi, Chris Cook, Chris Brown, Adam Sullivan, Zanga Panga, Tank Cab, Tank Cab, Andrew Johnson, Scott Roberts, Hibbert, Mark Miller twice, TCBK, Schilt, Matt Warren, Brister, Pete Albizers, uh, Kendall Farrell, Tom Dowsett, TCBK again, and Pete Albizers yet again. So now we're going to randomize the prizes. Whatever you land next to, you will receive for those top 38. What's up, Ring? Our number is five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Here's what you want. All right, so Chris, all the way down to Nick, you guys got a, a rip party pack. Mitchell got the Nolan Ryan autograph photo. Zach Hibbert, you got the autograph baseball card. I think that's Harrison Bader. Rob Montroy's got the Bagwell autograph jersey. Stubag got a card stand. Curtis Cook with the Jason Dominguez autograph baseball bat. Mark Miller with the Clemens autograph baseball. Pete Albizers with the Tatis autograph baseball bat. And TCBK with another card stand. Everybody else who I didn't call got um, exclusive Rip Party silver packs. So you top 38 will be have some bonuses in, uh, in your shipments. Okay, guys? The top 38 will have bonuses. Uh, those will ship out as we get ready to ship this entire week, okay? I appreciate everybody joining in. And uh, let's get over. Let's get, let's get to Optic. Thanks, guys. All right, here we go. And like I said, and I want to reiterate this. I want to reiterate this because some people are getting confused. Tops did not give me the Nolan Ryan photo. Tops did not give me the Bagwell jersey, the Dominguez autograph baseball bat, the Clemens baseball, or the Tatis bat. I bought those for you guys for this break. These were not gifted to me. This came out of one-on-one -on -one card shop funds. I don't have a fucking sponsor like everybody keeps thinking I do. I don't. I paid for all this shit. This was not free. Just got to get that out of the way. <laughs> all right. Optic football. Here we go. All right. So it looks like we've got Brit... We're going to do break seven and eight right now, guys. Seven and eight going right now. We're going to do the final filler. So Dolphins, Chargers, Bungles. Dolphins, Chargers, Bungles. Off the board. All right. Tell me about it. All right. Does anybody want a team before we get going on the final filler? Yeah, I wish I was. Does anybody want a team? We're going to fill both at the same time, guys. We're not messing around tonight. We're going to fill both at the same time. I'm not doing two separate fillers. I'd rather do it like this because it gives you guys a better chance. This is a, 
So this, these are two half casers, Scotty. So this is essentially a full case. So six boxes in seven, six boxes in eight equals a full case of optic football. So I just split it up. Does anybody want, we've got the Falcons in seven and we've got the Falcons in eight. Uh, Ravens in eight, Bills in eight, Bears in eight, Cowboys in eight, Jags, Patriots. Yeah, these are half casers. Correct. And these are the teams that I've got left. Obviously, you can't take any of the big boys. I use them as final fillers. See what we got here for this final filler. That's our average. Whoops. Escape. Holy shit. <laughs> no. What's what's Bitcoin down to right now, Scotty? Jags in both. That's a good buy. Smart. Lake Show, that was smart. I was going to say that's a pretty good fucking deal. All right, Jags are gone in both. Oops. Ooh, 46, dude. That's still high. High shit. Hit me when it gets down to like 35. I I understand, but dude, that's dude 3k of fluctuation on Bitcoins like an everyday thing. And I, I feel like that's nothing. That's nothing, dude. Hit me up when it gets to 41. That's when I'll start buying. 3k swing is literally an average swing for Bitcoin. All right, bears off the board. Bears in eight. Going to Phoenician. Yeah, dude, Sunday night. It'll go, I guarantee, I will guarantee you it'll go back up at 3.30 in the morning. I'll guarantee you. As soon as Asian markets open up and, and all, all all my peeps over there wake up, this shit will be fucking up to 49 again. As soon as everybody wakes up over there, dude, there's always a peak at like 3.34 in the morning. I know, but that's not even that much of a bounce. 3K on Bitcoin on a $49,000 stock? Eh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Ring, yeah, there's a few K of profit if you want to buy big. But at that point, what's the risk of making a two thousand bucks at this point? At this at this point, Bitcoin is like a. I have the Ravens in both. Do you want them in seven or eight? At this point, you're gonna have to take a ton, and it's a huge risk. Bitcoin's a long term play at this point. I have the Ravens in seven and eight. Just let me know which one you want them in. You want them in seven. Okay. Got it. It's your boy. Yeah, NEO is a good buy six months ago, dude. I got out of fucking Doge. I've been buying and selling Doge all weekend. I pretty much broke even. I've never seen a penny stock fluctuate that. I mean, there. I. I haven't been in the stock game long, but I mean, we're talking like four or five years, but I haven't seen a penny stock fluctuate that much in like my entire life. Now I'm see, I'm, I'm staying away from CCIV. I'm, I got, I dumped a ton into ATOS. I think. Um, anything in Vegas is a really good buy because I think in the next eight months, everything's going to open back up fully. Like MGM could be a good buy. I think it's high now, but I think it could, I think it could double realistically in the next six months. All right, this is what I've got left in two. These are half casers, guys. Half case number seven, half case number eight. Don't listen to me with stocks, by the way. I'm a lot. I'm a lot more smart when it comes to uh, <laughs> when it 
when it comes to sports cards than I am stock. Don't listen to me. Thank you, Phoenicia. Bears and eight. Got you. You man. I got pretty much a grand of fun money to play with. Doge keeps losing me money. I think I've lost like 178, maybe 215 bucks this weekend on Doge. I just keep. Fucking flipping it, transferring it over. I think the fuck you energy Doge had is gone. Now people are treating it like a regular stock and it's boring. <laughs> yeah, Phoenician, I got you tomorrow. I wasn't in shop all weekend. Don't worry about it. Does anybody want another team? Do you, all right, now here's the other question. Do you guys want me to run this as a big filler? Or do you guys want me to run this as... Um, a Bengals filler and then add more teams for a Chargers filler and then add more teams and do a Dolphins filler, like all separate. How do you guys want me? Do you guys want me to do three different fillers? Uh, you can't. I don't take PayPal, um, especially not now. But here's how you got to pay, brother. So this is the way I do. Mine are a little bit different. Um, head to the bottom of my website, www.oneofonecardshop.com. Go to filler buy-ins. Click that little section right there. Uh, go to the $1 mark. This is super easy. $1 mark. For quantity, just type in how much you owe me. So you're just going to type in 165. That's it. Add to cart. Boom ski. Then you're going to click here to go to your cart. And you can pay PayPal in here. I just don't take direct pay PayPal anymore. Okay. You can pay PayPal, Google Pay, Shop Pay. I believe Apple Pay is on the website as well. When you're in there on your phone, not on your computer. Uh, Bears and seven. That's how you pay. So if anybody was wondering, how do you pay? That's how you do it. Uh, be like Mike. I got you. You're in. We're getting to the a range to do one big filler, which is good. We had an absolute depressing break last week. Absolutely depressing break last week. We had a guy have my boy Moosey. Moosey had the Moosey had the Bengals in break six and the Chargers in break seven. In break no, I'm sorry, Miami in break six, Chargers in seven. In break six, a, a dirty Herbert was pulled. Nasty. Yet yeah, only shine, only optic. A dirty Herbert was pulled. He didn't have the charger. In break eight, the nastiest Burrow was pulled, and he had the Bengals in the break prior. Ugh. 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 I'm just waiting on payments. I got you, Lakeshaw. You're good. We're gonna do one big. F oh, oh boy. We're gonna do one filler. Don't worry about it. We're, we'll do one. I hear you. Jags and Jags. Jags and... I just got to get these guys to pay once they do roll set. Well, we hit two big burrows. We hit, you know, we hit the other one too. You know what I mean? All right, if we do a filler, we can't do a draft because we don't have enough spots. We don't have enough spots taken. There's 14 spots. Okay. So it's going to be a random. Just a heads up. Almost half the teams in this are big boys. Uh, yeah, you want the Cowboys in eight? They're yours. Let me pull them down. You got it. Teapot, you're good. Uh, teapot, do you know how to send or do you need me to show you? We're getting there. We're getting there. These are the teams I have left, guys. Eight seven zero two five. You got it. All right. Bears in seven. Off 
the boar. Yep, teapot. Yeah, go to the fillers. and uh, So it's a half case. Evil. Half case number seven, half case number eight. But yeah, it's a it's a full it's a sealed case. It's split up into six boxes. So break number seven is six boxes. Break number break number seven is six boxes. Break number eight is six boxes. So the only way this can be a draft is if three more teams get taken. Otherwise, it's going to be a random on the left, random on the right. Just a heads up. Give me one moment. Perfect. What's up, Bardown? How you doing, man? Ravens in seven. Dude, I got you, brother. Uh, do I buy people? Uh, I can, if you want me to, I'll offer on them. It's up to you. I'm probably not buying your your Herbert though. All right, let's get it. All right, here we go. All right, filler is three seventy eight. Oh, hold on, hold on, nope. Got a small one off the board. Evil Lemon took the Falcons. I was about to run a filler. Hold on. Scratch that. Oh, that's nice. Green Scope Burrow. Auto? Redemption. All right, Evil, I got you for the Falcons. In Does anybody else want a, uh, a spot? Two more teams get taken and it turns into a draft, which is typically good for everybody. Um, I don't, I mean, they have one rookie. I can look it up really quick. Group H. Hold on. Group break checklist, optic, 2020. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's going to fucking take forever to come back. I got a two day that hasn't come back since mid December, dude. A two day that hasn't come back since mid December. Not very confident in PSA right now. One second, I'll let you know. It's like whoever gets their hands on it. You just never fucking know. You never know. Every grader is different. Where's Falcons at? I got you. Hold on. Falcons. AJ Terrell, auto. Keanu Neal, auto. Keith Brooking, auto. Marlon Davidson, auto. And Matt Ryan, patch auto. Uh, Flores wants the... All right, you're good. Flores wants the pats in both. What's up, DJ? Seven zero two eight. I DJ. I didn't even see your comment over there. Sorry, dude. Eight seven zero two seven. Eight Falcons off the board. Going to Stewie. Peapot Cowboys and eight. Evil Lemon. Falcons in seven. Good, good. Yep, nada. And not. This is a really good, this just turned into a really good filler. So this just turned into a really good filler. Um, six. You have a 66% chance of getting one of the top teams. This just turned into a really good fill. And these aren't even that bad of teams either. So this is a good one. Uh-huh. All right. Now that these... We're good to go on DJ. Stu's going to pay. I'm not worried about those guys. Um, so here we go. Here's your final filler, guys. It's going to be expensive, but 
You have a 66% chance to hit a big boy. There you go. All right. 515 per will be a draft. Nine spots. Chargers in both. Bengals in both. Dolphins in both. Bills in both. Ravens are the only lone, lone team. Danger's in. 515 a spot. Six out of the nine are going to get big boys. Nut, draggers, own. That's right. Ant-Man's in. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Anthony? 515, six of the nine are big boys. Fills up both. This fills up. All the breaks for the night, by the way. It fills up everything. I don't have any other breaks after this. Yeah, not doing that bad. My thoughts on HGA. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. They just uh, need to take it slow. You know what I'm saying? Just take it slow. JBSTC. I'm already running it. It's going to make it more expensive if I combine them. Top shelf, I got you. I got you now. Good. One, two, three, four, five of the nine are filled. Rip party packs are done. What do you mean packs? Like like breaks? Yeah. I already I did the giveaway. It's over on YouTube if you wanted to check it out. Uh, Lucas, you're in. I'll give you number four. I got gotcha. you. I've got one, two. I got three spots left, guys. That's it. I got three spots left. 515 per. Six of the ten. There's two bags. Six of the six of the nine get a big boy. What I'm telling you is like what it seems like is like all the people who intake cards at PSA, if you Jimmy, I got you, buddy. If it's all different. So you might get one person who gets through the entire box super fast. I've got bookends left, guys, but when you get you'll get one person who's new to either grading cards or new to being a part of the two day sub, um, or new to being a part of five day, new to being a part I'm guessing that's how they hire people. They have they have specific people who are two-day graders, five-day graders, 10-day graders, 45-day graders, whatever. I don't know. But it seems like whoever opens your box, like whatever employee that is, please don't put them on my shit anymore. I have a sub that's been out since June. I've literally texted my rep, called my rep, emailed my rep, got told that his phone number no longer is in operation anymore, and I still don't have it back yet. There's no way other other PSA people can be not dealing with this shit. There's no way. Can't just be me. We're good. JB is in. Also, another one of my Venmos got banned again, guys. I already got it. Another one of my Venmos got banned again. Because you guys are putting notes in the fucking thing. Every time you guys put notes, dude... I lose my Venmo. That's the third Venmo I've lost. Whenever Ven if you don't have a business account, whenever Venmo suspects it for being a business account, see ya. You gone. Just waiting on Ant Man. I've got spot one and spot nine remaining, guys. That's it. We're going to run filler here in a sec. Yep, I already got you.
just waiting on Ant. All right, here's your filler. Boom. Yeah. All right, this is about to be absolutely bonkers. All right, here you go. A hundred bucks. That's it. A hundred and three bucks. Top two get in. 103 top two get in for 103 bucks if you can snag a hundred a 515 dollar spot for 103 dollars so there you go oh you're gonna kill it oh jb and jim are you there hold on jb and jim are you still in here yes or no hold on guys JB and Jim, are you still there? Yay or nay? Nah, it's already going. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. We're already moving. We're already moving. I know. We're good. We're moving already. I know. Ant-Man's got two spots. And Rex is going to fill. Oh, 06319. I think I got everybody in that. Rex, two, the lady, spot five, Moon. Matt got two. Matt, Matt, yes, yes. Jim, you're good to go. All right, so we should be good to go. All set, guys. Go ahead and send. Got to send through the website. <sighs> Even a pretty simple tonight. Tomorrow, um, Buckeye Bean uh, will be breaking basketball all night. Also, I don't know, and I'll, I'm going to talk about this because I don't know how fast. Was anybody in the live video when Nick was breaking, um, when Buckeye Bean was breaking this uh, past Friday? Was anybody in the live feed when he was breaking those mixers? Jim. We had we had a couple mixers popping off. Was anybody in the live feed when he was doing those? Moonlight. So, I rewatched the video, and he didn't rush off like he thought he did. He thought he, like, rushed off really quick. Um, on Friday, um, Buckeye's wife... No, no, other, other day, Brennan. On Friday, Buckeye's wife got into a car accident on the highway. She got clipped and put into, like, a, the, wall, the median wall by a teenage kid trying to get over without looking. So he wanted to, he'll probably talk about it tomorrow, tell everyone he apologized for getting off so quickly. And I told him it wasn't even that big of a deal. Like, I don't care. If he, if he just shut the live feed off, I wouldn't even have cared. But he wanted to apologize. And I was like, dude, not even a big deal. He rushed home. His son was in the back seat. They're all right. His wife was just really bruised up and shaken up. And car got, car was totaled. And uh, everything, thank God, turned out okay. Uh, but he was just really worried. Everyone was pissed at him because he left the live feed so fast. And I was like, dude, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's not a big deal. They're okay. Car. The minivan is totaled. Um, like, he was, like, getting off the exit ramp and... He decided not to get off the exit ramp and went over four lanes, clipped one car, hit the side of the minivan, kind of T-bone or like T-bone it a little bit. She went into the wall, back over to the right, hit two other cars. It was a fucking mess, dude. So he, I, I was actually, my phone was dead when he first called me. 
Called like five times. I woke up, it was like five missed calls. My phone was dead because when I take naps during the midday or like where I'm sleeping, I keep my phone off because I'll never be able to get sleep. Um, so I call him and he was like, yeah, dude, Nicole got into a really bad car accident and I'm headed down south. And I was like, yeah. and then he goes, I really hope no one was mad at me because I ended the live feed so abruptly. And I was like, dude, <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude? You could have ended the live, he could have ended the live feed mid break and I wouldn't give two shits, dude. I wouldn't care like at all. What's our number? Our number is five. One, two, three, four. Top two get in. Jim Wagner and Rex. 06319. I don't know if he was uninsured at all. I don't, I think he was insured. So I'm going to leave this here. Pretty sure he was insured. Here is uh here's our draft board. Good luck guys. One, two, three, four, and five. Danger caged top shelf. Rex, Eric, Jim, Jim, Ant-Man, Lucas, and JB is on the bottom. There you go. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. I was like, dude, just fucking, if, you, that, if anything ever happens like that, dude, just leave. Like, just tell my dad, like, yo, I gotta go, and bye. You know what I mean? Craziness. All right, guys. So you're gonna have to tell me: Chargers in seven or Chargers in eight? Bengals in seven or Bengals in eight? Dolphins in. You gotta tell me what break you want them in. Danger. First draft pick for you. Probably the first time ever. Chargers eight. Going to danger. All set. Top shelf. Chargers in seven. Rex, you're up. Bengals in seven. Eric, you're up. Choose wisely, bro. Bengals in eight. Jim. Oh, I just accidentally gave you the Dolphins. Jim, it looks like you just got the Dolphins in the whole case. I, I, that couldn't have worked out any better. I am not even kidding you, Jim. Take that all day. Ant-Man, you're up. Bills and eight, Lucas, you're up. Bills seven and Ravens eight. We're good. All right, let's get it. Half caser. Number seven is up first. I will transport the teams over right now. idea what you're even saying lefty I can't even see hold on I'm a little preoccupied here the cards of pack 
or pack thing protect me from breaking in, in, it and avoiding shot? Lefty, you're going to have to just redo that entire sentence. I have no idea what the fuck that even means. <laughs> Got me. All right, if you want to pick your poison, raise your hand. Who wants to pick what side we're breaking? Raise your hand, guys. Left or right? Gotta be in the break. Yep, everything sold out for tonight. That was quick. Gotta be in the break, guys. Gotta be in the break. 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 Hotty hobby kami. Uh I don't know. I can be if somebody we actually hit something good. All right, we'll switch it up. We're going to do top six this time. I like it. All right, let's get it. We'll do top six. I like that pick. I can. I can. I have a chicken mask. I have a goat mask. I have a duck mask. I have a mask that looks like a bunny rabbit that I wear sometimes in bed with my wife. I have a, a beaver mask. I mean, you never know. You never know. However you're feeling that day, guys. You never know. All right, come on now. Exactly, there you go, yeah. I mean, if we hit big cards, I'll, I'll pull a chicken mask out. We'll go crazy. Um, but the bar has risen so much that I don't, I don't even, even bring the chicken mask out anymore unless it's an absolute no-brainer. I mean, we, we've passed on Zion autos. We've passed on Ja autos. It's got to be like... A massive card for the chicken mask to come out anymore and it did come out I mean it came out a little bit ago I'd probably say like two weeks ago um, it came out two weeks ago I slid on the floor and I had the goat mask on um, but the chicken is is world famous we haven't brought the chicken mask out here in a little bit It's got to be absolutely huge. It's like my black G string. Um, my special is I don't I don't like black. I'm 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 not like a black G string. I'm like more like a leopard print. Um, I'm like exotic, you know what I mean? Like, catch me outside in my leopard G-string and we're good to go. You know what I mean? You gotta, it's, you, it's gotta be sexy, you gotta have some style. Plain black G-strings just don't do it for me anymore. You know what I mean? You do not discriminate, huh? <laughs> Everybody in the YouTube chat's like, what is this kid talking about right now? And who is he talking to? My other breakers, so my name's Steve. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys are new to the stream. 
Uh, I stream on YouTube and Instagram at the same time. Um, I've got three other breakers that work for me that break when I'm not breaking and at the shop or have had long days at the shop, yada, yada, yada. We have a nice little schedule we've got going. Um, <clears throat> they do not wear masks when they break. They do not wear masks when they break. I've even got I've got a tattoo of another man's name on my ass cheek. It get, we get pretty kinky in here. We get a little we get kinky. You know what I mean? And we're not, we're not afraid to show our true colors. Not what so no 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 no. I don't mind it. Other breakers are into shoes. Other breakers are into shoe fetishes like Jordans and Yeezys. I'm into ass tattoos, thongs, a little cosplay, maybe a little furry action. You never know what you're gonna get on the stream. You never know. <laughs> I've tried to hire porn stars to break with my guys before. That got shut down by the upper echelon. I've tried everything. Tried to get Riley Reed. All I had to do to get Riley Reed to break with one of my breakers was sign the offer letter. She accepted it. All I had to do was sign it and send it back, and I got shut down. By my business partners, they said it was not a good business move. And I was like, what are you talking about? Hell yeah, dude. All I had to do is sign the offer letter, send it over. That's it. I'm like a fat Furby, dude. It's like ugly. It's not good. I'm not even cuddly. See, when, when I start talking about like the weirdest shit, after like nine, 100 viewers in here, like you you guys call me weird, but the, I the viewers keep going up. It's like, dude, you're so weird. You talk about the weirdest shit. I'm talking about getting ass tattoos. And I got 100 viewers in here. You guys like it, I swear to God. She doesn't even have an Instagram anymore. Either she does or she blocked me. Dude, I used to tag Riley Reed in every one of my Instagram posts when I pulled a Riley Ridley. Every, every time I pulled a Ridley for the Bears, I would tag Riley Reed. And I can't tag her anymore. I think I got blocked. Ooh, she made a new one. Because tits out, kicked out, doesn't let me tag her anymore. I've been trying to find it. To no avail. Her account got to... That's, dude, that's why she wasn't responding to any of my DMs. See, I knew there was a reason. I knew there was a reason, dude. It's not that she didn't like me, guys. She, not, she did not like me. Her account got deleted, dude. <laughs> Terrible. I've told you guys already, if you guys can get Sierra in here, I'm not kidding, Russell Wilson's wife, if you get Sierra in here, I will do a free case break for everybody. Free. I'll do a free optic case break if we can get a celebrity in here to join the live feed. Blue check mark, verified, not a lot to be a UFC fighter. There are a lot of stipulations because I got a lot of buddies that buy into my breaks that have blue check marks. 
but it's got her name. The person's name has to be Sierra. Has to be Mary to Russell Wilson. Let Riley live. What? Oh, it's the best. Who deleted her account? Was it deleted by like a manager or did she get like hacked or something? Who would want to hack that? It's, it's, that's like the worst person to hack. I hack a porn star. It's like not even out yet. It's supposed to come out this week, dude. There's a couple of them. There's a couple stores that might have it, but it's not out in Cleveland yet. It'll come out later. I don't even know who Jack Harlow is. Harlow? I don't even know who that is. This stuff's not supposed to come out till this week. That's weird. Thank goodness I've never gotten my account taken down. Can we be real honest here, though? I don't think any. I don't think, what the fuck was that? I don't think Instagram's going down at taking some nerd's account down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you can't get, you can't hack her. Man, that's like the dumbest thing you can do. What's up, Ronnie? How you doing, buddy? Ah, oh, we just, yeah, no, I don't, that's really weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, four four zero. Bring it in. get banned from IG yet or no? Is he going to jail or anything like that? Like, Tory, Tory Lanez at the beginning of COVID, his live streams were insane. I don't know if anybody's watching. That guy was insane. there guys you got like a stack and a half left not even I don't even know I'm gonna be honest with you I don't even know who Ben Askren is should I know who he is I don't I can get an Instagram model too that's not the same the company that I'm sponsored by has Tons of Instagram models. Has tons of Instagram models that I can go live with, but it, that this would hurt their image. They're not. <laughs> they're not coming on here, dude. Oh, Ben. A okay, now I know who it is. Thank you. I guess I just need a picture in my head. UFC fighter. Uh, yeah. What do you mean? On. We pulled one downtown per case, yeah. And we've done what is this? Four cases now. All right, we're done. Yeah. Now we've got one more. We're 100% full on breaks, though. So you guys can just sit back and relax. Like I said, we are 100. 
100% full. This phone case, or this phone fucking, this thing sucks, guys. This is terrible. I don't have my phone stand at all. I have some phone stand that I used to use back in the day when I was breaking out of my wife's closet. Not kidding. So this is awkward. All right, here we go. First set. There we go. We're good. Good luck. Top bottoms tough. It'll still flip for a good couple of racks though. Not thousand. I guess what do you call hundreds? Bands? It wouldn't not a couple jeans, but yeah, it's definitely OC but still super clean. I put a sleeve over it so the surface isn't affected. Damn Nah, not numbered. None of that that wasn't numbered, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Let's keep it going. The champ is here. The Chad Henny. No, I'll kick her. All right. Julio Jones, orange. We're going to get through this pretty quick, guys. Uh, Aquara, hollow. Gabriel Davis. Blue Joe Reed, number to 179. Hollow, Jameson Crowder. Rated rookie, Michael Pittman. So we're going to get through these. There's an auto on the back. of No, nope, there isn't. We're going to get through this pretty quick. I don't know, dude. It's worth a, It's not worth more than a G with that centering is what I'm trying to say. All right, Lynn Bowden Jr., a hollow Antonio Gandy Golden. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, guys. It's These are condition sensitive. The, it, it's a phenomenal card, but... What I'm trying to say is the centering was was bad. Okay. I'm trying to temper your expectations. Still a huge card. Probably get close to a G. Stafford. Taylor. AJ Brown Blue. Anything I put here gets a sleeve and a top loader, okay, guys? I just don't have time because we gotta we're gonna fly through this entire thing. To do it all right now. I literally do it after the break. But when I hit the big boys, that's when I sleeve and top load, okay? Uh, to get into my breaks, guys, just go to my website, www.oneofonecardshop.com. Okay. Justin Jefferson out of 199. Chase Young inserts don't get sleeve and top loaded. DJ Moore. Dark blue, J.K. Dobbins. How about that one? Stephon Diggs, blue, and a Tua rated rookie. This is number seven. First auto, Quentin Cephas out of 70. Oh, not an auto. Sorry, guys. Hate that they do that. Here's your auto. Yes, sir. Jalen Hurts on card auto. Eagles going to Nicholas Wallen. One twenty six out of one fifty. That's actually my first um, Hurts autograph in optic. Harrison Bryant out of ninety nine. 
I'm only sleeping in Tapo Nunes because he's the best tight end in the NFL. And he's a Cleveland guy. Jefferson. One sec, guys. Get it. Oh, now it gets top loaded. There you go. Let's keep it moving. Ugh. Nate Stanley, number to 125. Anthony McFarland. There he is. Who asked for it? Chase Claypool. Bo. Out of 25. Pandora Auto. Steelers. Tyler Armas. Black Pandora Auto. Chase Claypool out of 25. 14 of 25. Yeah, this case is really nice. Ooh, nice. LaVisca. Guys, I think this kid's going to pop off next year. I'm not kidding. Really good low uh, investment, I think, is Chenault. And when he pops off, sell. Receivers don't hold value typically uh, over time. I just think with uh, the new QB coming in, he's going to be really good. 79 of 199. Uh, Ayuk, rated rookie, Hilaire. Um, he won't be a stealer anymore after the offseason and space. Teddy Two Gloves out of 299. CD Lamb. Aaron Jones out of 179. Kashawn Vaughn. I thought that was Chase Young for a sec. Hollow Ashton Davis. And Tom Brady. Anybody know how much the Tom Brady base optic are going? Like that one right there. Here's our big hit so far, guys. That's a party. That's a good one. Anybody catches that quote, let me know. Adams. Tom Brady. Hollow Dominator. Just a Dominator. Baby Blue, Michael Thomas, Rated Rookie, there you go, Hollow, Justin Jefferson. There you go. Uh, that Optic uh, logo is really far up, and then there's a lot of space below, right there. So, that's real far up there in the corner. That's crazy, 50 bucks for his base, for real. Hello, Jordan Brooks. Oh, good lord. Hold on. 20 of 25. Another. Another one, dude. Another Pandora. Jonathan Taylor going to Nick Morgan. Finally, you got the Colts, dude. And this is this is sick. Finally, you got the Colts. Nick, Nick, here you go, buddy. Black Pandora, Jonathan Taylor. Jalen Hurts. If that was Mahomes, I'd sleeve and top load it, but it isn't. Jefferson insert. Lutton. Hollow. Kirk Cousins. Kyler, TJ Watt, Dark Blue, Rated Rookie, JT. That looks good right there. That Rated Rookie looks really good right there. 
Yep. Jedrick Wills. Didn't want to finger the shit out of that card. Hollow Auto for the Browns. Who's got my brownies? Is that Hex again? Nope. Bob DeSalt. Jedrick Wills. 74 of 75. Um, how much is this was a pick your team, so you could have picked your team for all different kinds of prices. I think we're putting another one of these up on the website right now. So if you guys wanted to go snag your team in the next half case or as you can, they're gonna go Tuesday. There's a dimple mark on, on this rookie. I don't know if you can see that. Baby blue. Oh my goodness. Another black Pandora. Frank Clark for the Chiefs. Is there a record for this? 20 of 25. Another Pandora. Kelsey Hollow, Lynn Bowden Jr., Yep, we just put 9 and 10 up on the website, guys. I think we raised prices by like 2 or 3 bucks a team, maybe. Give me an auto. Oh, because this is this case was bought secondary off of another local card shop. Nope, can't put that in there. So this, are you serious, dude? Come on, BCW. What are you doing? 32 of 99, Tua. No, Chargers, you're not allowed to buy. Char These all get sleeved and top loaded, by the way. Chargers, Bengals, Dolphins are all filler teams, guys. Cannot buy them. Yep. Kerrigan. That's how they always are in my breaks. That's how they always have been. AJ Terrell. Jalen Hurts, Alvin Kamara, out of 199, JT. So, one of one cardshop.com. We just put two more breaks up. Double zero on Asi Asi. I just realized that. Jared Goff, hollow. Dark blue, Julian Edelman. 179. Ryan Kerrigan to 79. Jalen Hurts rated rookie. I I gotta I haven't even looked at it, bro. I gotta look at it first before I tell you yes or no. I think if I just said yes, I think that's that would look pretty bad on my part. You know whose else value went down, Mr. Z? How about Mahomes? Because he got his ass kicked in the Super Bowl, brother. Did it? Did, tell me this, Mr. Z. Did it suck being a Chiefs fan, getting your ass absolutely licked? You guys got rocked, dude. You've been missing out of my live streams ever since the ass kicking. In here, pumping up the Chiefs. Then you guys get your ass kicked. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere. To a... Rated rookie. Hey, Mr. Z, you see him in your nightmares? See him in your night. The refs, the refs don't prevent you from scoring a single touchdown, my man. That's what the refs don't do. Claypool Hollow. Steelers popping off now. Tyler, there you go, buddy. We're really moving for you. Bro, the refs don't prevent you from throwing a single touchdown pass. Kashawn Vaughn. Oh, you're you're gonna get trolled hard right now, dude. You're get you're you're getting it. So sit back. 
Spread your legs wide open. You're getting it, buddy. You've been giving it to us in this chat for the past six months on how good the Chiefs are. Chiefs are so good. Brady's garbage. Mahomes is the best. Cam Newton. Oh, that goes this way. <laughs> I don't even dislike Mahomes. I only dislike him because of you. Jalen Johnson, Jefferson, Brady, Ryan, Uter Gross Matos. I don't even dislike the, the Chiefs. That was weird. This 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 card feels like this on the back. That's weird. It's got the plastic on the ceiling on the back. I'm just, I'm just absolutely just trolling him because he got, guys, he trolled us so hard. Joe Reed, if you guys have been in the live stream for the past like six months, it's been awful. Mike Jasaki, it's been so bad. Woo! Hollow Jordan Love. Bro, Tyreek Hill had two passes hit him in the face. What are you talking about? Kamara. Kai Becton, light blue. Juju Smith Schuster, dark blue, McFarland. Give me an auto. Jerry Judy, on card rated rookie auto. Denver going to JB. I'm just trolling. <laughs> I'll just be complete. Let me be completely honest. I'm a Browns fan, and I already know that if Mahomes stayed in the entire game against the Browns, we would have got our asses fucking rocked. I know, dude, the Chiefs are really good. I'm giving him a hard time about the Chiefs just because he talked a lot of shit the entire year. I'm, I'm not one of those guys that just thinks that Mahomes is, like, terrible. <laughs> I think he's just a terrible Chiefs fan. <laughs> Kenneth Murray. Chase Young, rated rookie. I agree. I mean, what I, I did say this, though. Be, honestly, you if you were in here, you knew. I said this is going to be really tough for the Chiefs to win because the defense is really good. And they were down two tackles and like all that stuff. I think it's a hell of a lot closer game if, if everyone... I'm, you can't say that if everyone's healthy. Because then every game in the NFL is close if everyone's healthy. I mean, it's hard. It's tough to say that. Yeah, yeah. You fucking lost to Henny. I know. Brandon Ayuk. Hollow. Rated rookie. You know what I mean? So, I'm just trolling him. He's been trolling us. He's actually taking it pretty well. I'm not... Ben! Oh, suck it! This is your starting quarterback next year. Guys, also, if you're not if you're not in here very often, I'm a fucking prophet. Before the season started, I don't know if anybody remembers, I told everybody that the Red Rocket was going to be the starting quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Said this at the beginning of the season. Mind you, it was an injury, but called it. Eighty three of two ninety almost jersey number two ninety nine. Come on, be the one. Gibson to thirty five. Dark purple auto for Washington. Mac attack seventy. Kai Becton, he actually had a really good year this year. We don't have that much left, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Denzel, I'm telling you, if you aren't already hip, this is your guy for next year. Denzel Mims, 73 to 199. And then a Burrow base. Uh, I did predict Brady to Tampa in a post four months before it happened. Thank you very much. No, it's like two months before it happened, but still, still predicted it. Still was right. I also predicted Deshaun Watson to Chicago, and there's already rumblings about my boy going to Chicago. So, what's up? Lamont. CD Lamb. Last Hollow. Trayvon Diggs. Base. Yeah, all averages. Yeah, Everybody wins a team. All of these are going to get sleeves and top loaders, guys. Every single one of them. Let's recap it up. Uh, he, yeah, I mean, he's... He, I don't really care. I just want him to go anywhere. Yeah, boogies. I'd take the under on it, too. I just like talking shit. There you go. Really nice uh, Joe Burrow downtown. I don't think he's going to play with his brother. I really don't, guys. I'm completely honest with you. Pittsburgh is in salary cap hell. I really don't see it happening. I really don't see it happening. Even if they try to give him a discount, I don't see it happening. Everyone says Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh and the Saints are in the two worst cap situations in the entire NFL. Okay, here we go. Burrow. Oop, Gibson. Gronk. Dropped him almost like dropped the trophy. Ayuk, Tua, Young, Judy. Nice Jordan Love. Really nice Claypool. Another nice Gronk. Hurts. Really nice Tua. I'm not talking out of my ass. What you, that's a fact, bro. Go check the salary cap, dude. Don't come at me. Go check their salaries, dude. They're fucked. They got to get rid of so many people. Jefferson. Chenault. Claypool. Hurts, Tua, really nice Jefferson, AGG. I'm not talking. I don't. I rarely talk out of my ass. I think Cleveland's in a really nice spot to offer him a contract, but I don't think we're in the... We, we usually don't do that. Cle, I don't think Cleveland's going to offer him a contract. We, it makes sense because he'd be opposite of Miles, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to do that because that's just not a Cleveland move. I think it's a... Chiefs would do it, but I don't know how they're capital. It's a Ravens move to, to go after a vet like that. It really is. So, it is a Ravens-type move to go after a guy like that. So, And if they get him, the NFL better watch out. I'm dead serious. Ravens, like, just look at their history. Calias Campbell. Um, I mean, tons of, tons of studs on that D-line that are veterans. Well, that have been veterans. Historically have been veterans on that D-line, man. They're so good. Dude, Patrick Queen, damn stud. Yannick is over there. I mean, there's fucking stacked. Stacked. Col I love Colias. He's a good dude, too. I'm a big fan of Colias. I like him. All right, moving on to eight. One moment. Cool. I live really close to him. He lives over in, Hud I think, Hudson. Um, I live probably 20 minutes away from where he lives. Uh, Hudson or Twinsburg or something like that. I live probably like 20. No. That, that twin I think it's like Twinsburg or something like that. I, oh, wherever he's at. Twinsburg, Hudson. I get that area mixed up. The east side is very confusing to me. But I live like 20 minutes from him. 
Yeah, that was a good half caser. Uh, Kurtz was the only really big quarterback. What you should do is just try to get him into the shop. I mean, I got a shop. His picture's on my wall, dude. I'm not kidding. I have his picture, a picture of him up on my mural in my shop. Here we go. Break number eight. This is the last break of the night, too. Yeah, I mean, Juju should just stop dancing. How about that? He'd be real good if he stopped dancing. Yeah, I feel like if they go Watt, they got to get rid of Tuit or Hayward. And I, I really don't think they want to get rid of Hayward. Hayward's like, Hayward is the Steelers. You know what I mean? I Yeah, I agree 100%. Or, I mean, if Baker can just do exactly what he's been doing and just we, we just have a competent defense, I think we're good. You know what I mean? Baker is, I'm not even kidding you, he's got that X factor, but he really, <laughs> just, I don't know if you guys even agree with me on this. In my mind, Baker is a game manager, to be completely honest with you. I love me some Baker. Uh, but I just feel like he's just like that game manager. He's not that, he's a guy that's going to go out and he'll get you the win, but. I don't know if it's play calling, but they don't have him, like, fucking taking big-ass shots all the time. He's just not, like, the guy who will take giant shots. He's only done it once to DPJ in the corner of the end zone, that Bengals game. Um, but he's also only been in the NFL for three years, so you can't really sit here and... I guess, uh, maybe, I guess you could. Chris, I too much. But that's the thing, though. I mean, he doesn't need to be... He can be that Tannehill-type player, right? Like, think about it. Like, that Tannehill-type player, Baker, can be that. Um, we just need a better defense. I mean, we got to where we needed to get to. Mahomes getting hurt or not, we held the Chiefs to 22 points. And we were literally a Chad Henney run away from being uh, on a potential winning drive. I'm serious. And we couldn't stop the run. We have one of the worst defenses in the NFL. So if Baker stays Baker and we have a better defense, I feel like we'll be better. But we totally exceeded all expectations. I only wanted... Don't call him Manziel. He's not even close to Manziel. He's fucking disrespectful, dude. Manziel's a drug addict. Baker is not. But um, I only wanted nine wins this year, dude. I, I just wanted to go above 500. And I think the media paints Browns fans like these fucking people who are like, ooh, Super Bowl. We're, that, dude, every Browns fan is just like, dude, nine wins this year. Everything else is house money. Next year, we'll talk about 10 plus win seasons consistently. But, like, we got to prove ourselves first. It's like, what, what the fuck? Media is like, ooh, Browns fans are delusional. They think they're going to the Super Bowl. I don't think anybody wanted to. Who the fuck is this Jose dude? Get out of here. Not talking out of my ass. All I'm saying is I want a nine-win season. But all I want from the Browns, like, from now on, dude, just give me, like, nine wins consistently and be in the hunt for the wild card. Next year, hopefully we can do what we did this past year. I, I, in my entire life, I've never been in a situation where I can – expect the Browns to be playoff contenders. So, I don't even know what that feels like. I don't even know what that feels like. And, the whole thing with like me speaking down on the Steelers from this past year, that was all self-inflicted by the Steelers. That's not like me just talking like just blind dog shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not just talking out of my ass, like, dog shit about the Steelers. I only talk shit about the Steelers because it was just like, they just, Steelers just shot themselves in, their, in the leg, dude. It wasn't even the Browns even asking for it. You know what I mean? It's whatever. Yeah, that was nuts, man. How about that?
Baker was a top 10 quarterback this year, so see you later. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm not a not I'm not not a fan of Stafford. I'm not not a fan of golf. I like both. Hopefully, we can uh, see them put together like two pretty good seasons. There's no cards in this pack, guys. Look at this. So hopefully, we can see them put together two seasons. I mean. I'm, like, convinced. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm convinced that Darnold is actually a good quarterback. And you hear me out before you start vilifying me for this, even, even saying this is a hot take. I feel so bad for Darnold. He's one of the youngest quarterbacks in the NFL for the year he was drafted. He's extremely young. He's had, like, three coaches in three years, and one of them almost killed Tannehill's entire career and almost took the Dolphins out of the NFL and over to Europe. Like, Gase is awful. I don't even see this coin, dude. Oh, we'll leave him. Oh, uh, a Cleveland coin. My shop address is in my profile. I'll see you on Tuesday. Sound good? You guys are just all... The people who come into the chat are all talk, dude. I'll leave them in there. I'll leave them in. I can't believe But, uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. Cleveland Coin is the guy who was born and raised in Cleveland, who is a Steelers fan. And when he wears, like, Keenan, when he wears, like, Cardell jerseys, I'm going to say Keenan. When he wears Cardell jerseys out, everyone's like, you're so stupid for being a Steelers fan. He lies and says, but my dad's brother's sister's husband is from Pittsburgh, so I kind of got to be a Steelers fan. That's what you get in Cleveland. That's like a bunch of inbred Steelers fans saying they're from Pittsburgh when really their fifth cousin four times removed is from Pittsburgh. I think the Cardinals take a really big step forward next year. I think Kyler's the real deal, dude. I really do. Oh, dude, I'm not giving up on, on Darnold as an investment. Yeah, right. Hell no. You're welcome, bro. I like Kyler a lot. Kyler's awesome. And you want to know what I've noted? I mean, maybe it's just me being biased, but I haven't seen, like, I haven't seen um, any, like, absolute dick bags in the NFL in a while. I mean, Antonio Brown was, like, the only one. I think Rosen had an attitude problem, which was well-documented in college and then in the pros. We haven't seen, like, a crazy, like, bad person in what like a year two three two years in the nfl dude i make more money opening cards for a living than you'll make in the next 15 years you better watch yourself dude keep going to your nine to five homie keep going to your nine to five because this skill set don't even get me going You better watch yourself, dude. I'm not, that's not threatening, but I have no problem coming at you. <laughs> nah, I'm on Doge, bro. Joey Tenebria knows who this coin guy is. Joey Tenebria knows who this guy is. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's talking about some other kid. Mm. 
No, you were talking about the... I didn't see that other Alex kid stuff coming through. I thought you were talking about the other kid. My bad, dude. My bad. <laughs> Cleveland coin. That <laughs> you saying keep opening up. <laughs> Go have fun at your nine to five, bro. Talk to you later. He's got to go to bed. He's got to wake up at 5 in the morning. See ya. <laughs> it's fine. I wish he was actually in Cleveland. I saw that color. Hold on a second. Before this kid got to me. Sixteen hundred five. Bro, you collect pennies for a fucking living. Don't you ever come at me for opening up fucking sports cards for a living, dude. Don't you ever come at me for opening up Sports cards for a living, bro. Don't. I'll see you. Fucking kid. I'm not mad at all, dude. I'm having fun now. <laughs> I'm having fun now. I mean, you came at me. And you guys, everybody in this chat already knows, dude. Dylan, yeah. I mean, he's he's coming at my livelihood, Dylan. For sure. I get trolls all the time. It's ridiculous. Ooh, this pack was backwards. This one was backwards too. Good to go. <laughs> we already did a giveaway. Go to uh, YouTube to watch it. Playoff, guys. Oh, my gosh. All right, good luck. Uh, half caser. Good luck. Tom? Colin Johnson, Jalen Hurts, base. Uh, Ducky packs are at the shop. I can't give them away. <laughs> uh, Gilmore. Oh my goodness! Team color parallel. Two. One hundred seven out of one ninety nine. Jason Huntley. Drew Brees, Baby Blue. Grant Delpit, Hollow Rookie.
I really hope we didn't get shorted in auto. Drew Locke out of 179, JT rated rookie. Henry Ruggs, hollow rated rookie. Hollow rated rookie. Cole Komet on a 99 auto. There you go. CJ Henderson on a 99. And Tua right behind him. This is break number eight. Ryan Kerrigan, red out of 99. Hollow AJ Brown. Mark Andrews out of 299. JK Dobbins. Wrong rookie. The Sean Murphy Bunting. High Tower Sanders carry on. AJ Terrell, orange. Joe Reed, dark blue out of 179. Hollow, Josh Uchi. Another hollow, Devontae Adams. Base. Ooh, we got a Ben DiNucci coming up. It's our boy. AGG, Tom Brady. LaVisca Chenault out of 150 on card auto. Uh, it was when he punched the guy in the face, uh, Ventura. Whenever he punched Ventura in the face. There you go. Black Pandora out of 25. Ben DiNucci. Stack. Zach Moss out of 25. That's the second one of these we pulled. So we pulled two Black Pandora Zach Moss rated rookies so far. Two. Jerry Judy. Cole McDonald. I don't even think he's in the NFL. Sam Darnold, dark blue. Tyler Johnson. Is Cole even in the NFL anymore? I don't think he is. There you go. Cam Akers. Out of 125. Chase Claypool. Rated rookie hollow coming up. Darrington Evans. Nick Chubb, another hollow, Alvin Kamara, base, uh, Darius Leonard, red, Jalen Rager, Grant Delpit, blue out of 179, and a burrow, optic, base. Oh, my 
my gosh, the wrong charger again. Baby Blue, Josh Kelly, Jacob Eason, Tom Brady, Colin Johnson. That's what I'm saying. Out of 50, Colin Johnson auto. Jaguar hit. It's going to Lake Show. Twenty nine of fifty. Patrick Mahomes. First numbered Patrick Mahomes. Twenty one of one seventy nine. First numbered Patrick Mahomes. We've hit Jasucky. Base. Jalen Hurts, the rookies. There you go. Michael Pittman Jr. That might not even be a defect in that one. I got a 56 of 125. Base. Starting another stack. Hollow J.K. Dobbins. Another TB. Jerry Judy Baby Blue out of 299. Julio Jones Orange. Dalton Keen out of 60. Ugh. There are two more of these breaks up on the website, guys. They will go Tuesday. All the basketball goes tomorrow. Gandy Golden out of 35, Lime Green. You want to know what's not in this case? We did not hit an RPA. I'm almost positive. No RPAs in this case. Hollow, Tristan Wirfs. Hollow, Kelsey. I don't think we're going to. Because I didn't see any when we came out. AJ Brown, red. Got him. Herbie. This might be the best centered one we've ever pulled. Slightly off to the left. Top bottom's looking really nice, too. Lightly, though. That one's really nice. Tua, the rookies. Trubisky, blue. DJ Dallas. Hollow rated rookie. Logan Wilson, baby blue. Devin Duvernay out of 50. Autograph for the Baltimore Ravens. JBSTC. Nope. No allocation for upper deck yet. They won't give it to me yet. So I'm not getting any cup. Which sucks. I gotta wait like months. TJ Watt, orange. Last stack. We're gonna move these back. Zadarius Smith, AGG, Dalton Keene. James Morgan out of 79 for the Jets. Elite Series rookie, Joe B. Oh, 
Hall of Fame should mean dominance, but that doesn't mean that doesn't that's not what they go by, dude. Because Clay Matthews Sr. is more dominant than oh, who the hell was it? That's in the Hall of Fame. I posted a graphic the other day for you guys. Seven of seventy nine. And he's not ever gonna get into the Hall of Fame. Ryan Tannehill. Derek Carr blue out of one seventy nine. Jordan Love rated rookie base. Juju Smith Schuster Hollow. Hollow Jedrick Wills. Was it Singletary? Hollow Baker Mayfield. Oh, dude, that's a five dollar card. I just bought one. That doesn't get a top loader. Julio Jones out of 79. Brian Edwards out of 150 auto. Uh, maybe. No, Basketball Hall of Fame is the worst. Anybody gets into the Basketball Hall of Fame, dude. What do you mean? You could breathe on the court and get into the Basketball Hall of Fame, dude. <laughs> Out of 99, Darrington Evans. That's all we have left right there. Tyron Matthew. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say we did not get enough autographs in this half case. I could be wrong, though. Denzel Mims. Jason Kelsey. JT, KG, and Swift. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we got shorted, but we're going to count it up. All right. Edwards, Love, Kyler, Duvernay, Tua, Herbert, Golden, Keen, Dobbins, Pittman, Mahomes, Colin Johnson, Burrow, Evans, Moss, Danucci, Chenault, Tua, Komet, Ruggs, Tua, Hurts. One, two, three, four. Son of a gun, we did. I'm wrong. Again. No, we got six. We're good. We just didn't get a we didn't get an RPA. Guys, it's going to get to the point where where they set the bar too low in the past for the Hall of Fame. You, you guys understand that, right? It's going to get to the point where in the past people are going to look at their stats and look at guys that play now who have insane stats like Mahomes who threw for like what wh who sets the bar? Like Mahomes just, you know, threw 100 his his 100th touchdown and at his 100th touchdown, he only had 19 interceptions. Well, at Peyton Manning's 100th touchdown, he threw 69 interceptions. So at what point do you look in the past and say, wow, they really fucked up and let all these guys in, and it's saturated now? Do you, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, they set the bar too low. You set the bar too low back in the day, pretty much everyone's going to get in moving forward. You know what I mean? All right, guys. That is it. Got everything. Yeah, but I mean, it is what it is. All right, so we're done for the night. Told you it was going to be nice and quick.